how to just be self-realization. You see, how to just be your beingness, you can't help but be it anyway. Let's try it right here, right now. Right here, right now, that's the only place you can ever be. Right here, right now. So just go into your own experience right here, right now. What is your direct experience? What's here? We see this forms arising, sounds arising, body sensations arising. It's all happening effortlessly. I'm not making it happen. There's no effort required. It's just happening all by itself. There's just a noticing of it all. And the noticing of it all is happening not just here, when I look inside here, that which is looking out is the true you. And it's impersonal. It's not Rob looking out, the separate Rob with his backstory looking out. It's the infinite being looking out. It's infinite consciousness looking out. It's the impersonal beingness. There really is only the impersonal beingness. And the experience, the dualistic experience, the personalized experience of a person in a world. So it's just a shift. It's, they're going on simultaneously. You can shift your perception between them. You can shift your perception just by shifting your perception between that which is effortless being, that which is the impersonal being that just shines here the whole time. Look in your experience. It's just that which is looking out. It's just a noticing and awareness of everything. And it's all happening in this wide open awake space. Pay attention to all the space. The silence between the words. Pay attention to that. It gives you all of it. You're everything. Including the space, the atoms, the perceived persons, the apparent trees and things that the mind labels. But it's just all one appearance is oneness, one unity consciousness here. It's just this um, wide open awake space where everything is coming and going that changes. Suffering comes in when you resist changes to life instead of just being the all allowing neutral space with no judgments, just everything's arising equally and effortlessly without any effort. And your part what you are is the wide open conscious space where everything's allowed to come. And you're permanent. Nothing actually ever moves unless you switch your perception into being the separate Rob in his story. And that's all in your head. And thoughts can't think. Thoughts can't feel. So that's why we say it's like a dream because it's just not real in that respect. But you're always just right here permanently, never moving as the stillness. The impersonal stillness, the impersonal beingness. And there's no distance between you and the tree or you and the sun. You're right there. There's no distance because you're everything. Unless you shift your mind into the perception of the dualistic world to the experience, then it, the mind makes it appear that way. Apparently, that's why we say apparently. The truth is, you're the still, impersonal beingness, the neutral, loving, joyful, content, needs nothing, imperturbable peace, infinite intelligence, effortless being. It takes no effort just to be, you're just here. in this wide open space of unity consciousness. 
where it forms, and you can check for yourself all the forms, the body sensations, the efforts, the emotions, the stories, the thoughts. They're all arising, the emotions, the thoughts, the body sensations, the forms, the apparent world out here is all just arising effortlessly. But you remain, look inside right here, uh, noticing it all. Uh, I am the space, I am the awakeness, I'm the consciousness, I'm the impersonal. Not Rob is, no, Rob's not that. There's the impersonal beingness that witnesses the Rob. That's more what you are, not the story of Rob. That which is the impersonal beingness that witnesses it. That notices it. That which is silent. That which is impersonal beingness. So there's the impersonal beingness. The infinite being, it's infinite. It's infinity. And then there's this story of thoughts. It's just a string of thoughts, a collection of thoughts about a person named Rob or fill in whatever name that you've been given that you've believed into. It's just a perception. So the clear seeing is knowing that you're the infinite being, just having a human experience. Experiences come and go, but you always remain as the permanent stillness that never moves. And everything else is changing within you, the wide open space. Everything's happening within you, within infinite consciousness. It's just a consciousness where all these stories are playing. You're like the screen, the permanent screen. Then the movies playing different movies throughout life. Or perceived time. There is no time because it's just now. But in the story, it feels like there's time. That's why we say it's an experience. It's that come and go. But you always remain as the pristine, infinite being with imperturbable peace. And nothing in, on the screen of consciousness can touch the consciousness itself. Because the consciousness never incarnates into the human being. It just notices it experiences the human experience and when you know yourself it brings about a true peace a true happiness a permanent happiness one that doesn't go away and there's a knowingness it's like you just know it automatically it's simple self-realization is simple it's just realizing the difference between Effortless being or impersonal being. You can see that right now in your own experience, impersonal being. And then the difference between that and then the personal mode of experience, of human experience, the dualistic world. We know what that is, right? We comment, oh, this feels good. That feels good. I'm Rob of this story. I have this to do today, that to do today. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, you know, believing all your thoughts and telling all these these thoughts about your story. And oh, it applies to me. I'm separate. I'm from the all. And I'm this separate person out in this big, bad world. And the subject object mode, it's a seeing through that and just knowing the difference between, boom, impersonal beingness, noticing it all impersonally. That we can, that's what, which can see, smell, taste, touch, and that is aware, is here and has been here your whole life. It's just a case of mistaken identity. You mislabeled it a Rob and his story or fill in your name and his story of limitation. You've limited it to yourself. But now it's time to wake up and see that you're not this limited, separate person called Rob. That which is this, what's, what is this? What's right here, right now that you've mislabeled? There's still consciousness here i'm still conscious there's still seeing smelling tasting touching that's still happening but the seeing isn't commenting about the seeing and the seeing isn't saying it's applying to a separate person is it no there's just seeing with no judgments there's seeing with no comments about it there's seeing with no personalization of it there's hearing, same way. No personalization of the hearing. There's just hearing. 
It's not hearing to rob. It's just hearing happening in this universal space of awareness, this interconnected unity consciousness, this wide open awake space of consciousness where everything is coming and going. Suffering is just resistant to the change of it. Suffering is just identifying with yourself being separate from the all. Let it all go. Any thoughts that come in and tell you different is a lie. You are the infinite being, the effortless being, having a human experience. Any other thoughts are just not true. See in your own experience. Don't take my word for it. What is your direct experience? Look in your own experience. See, have a clear seeing of what's really happening here. Know your true reality. I do phone calls, uh, retreats. If you're interested in any of that, make myself available for that. I'd be happy to talk to you about it. It's actually fun making these videos and fun talking to people uh, about self-realization because basically you're expressing your true nature. There's a joy in expressing what we truly are. And it really does bring infinite freedom, freedom from limitation, freedom from being a separate person, freedom of being what you truly are. There is a joy and a love there. So if you're interested in having a phone call, I want to talk about any of this, if it resonates with you, or you want to know more about the retreats, go ahead and email me. You can check in my bio and go ahead and shoot me an email. I'd be happy to set something up with you. Life is meant to be fun. Enjoy your life.